today I've just got a really short video. I wanted to share with you a book I've just finished reading. It's called The Secret Lives of Colour by Cassia St. Clair. St. Clair came upon the idea for this book while researching 18th century women's costume. So naturally the book has a lot of fascinating insights into the colours associated with clothing and textiles. It's a lovely book to own in hard copy because each page is colour coded to the shade being discussed and that makes it a real joy to read. St. Clair explains how we observe colour on the light spectrum and how that translates to colour breakdowns that might be used on, for example, RGB monitors in print or in dyes. It also takes a very interesting dive into our perception of colour through language. Uh, many of you will have heard the anecdote that the ancient Greeks couldn't see the colour blue, which is based somewhat spuriously on the descriptions of blue things like the sea in Homer's Iliad and Odyssey and other similar ancient texts. The sea in these is often described as wine dark, which is a really, really beautiful descriptor and I remember it clearly from when I was reading these books um, at high school studying classics. The reality is it's not likely that the ancient Greeks were all colour blind. It's much more likely they were perfectly capable of seeing the colour that we know as blue, but they just didn't recognise it as a colour in its own right. They probably saw it as a tone on a spectrum somewhere between black and white and possibly even close to red. St. Clair wonders if maybe the Greeks didn't have as many names for colours as we do because they just didn't find them that interesting. I, on the other hand, find colour completely captivating. If you've seen any of my work in the last few years, you will undoubtedly have noticed how excited I am about bright, saturated colour. Um, this confuses people who know me in real life because uh, I'm an old goth and I invariably always wear black. I have a slightly odd relationship with colour in that I don't like to mix too many colours at the same time. I tend to work with only one colour, maybe two, although I'm starting to branch out and my latest work has three colours in it, which is a big departure for me. Uh, there's a discussion of the historical aversion to mixing colours in the book in the section on green. Uh, there appears to have been a bit of confusion around the colour green and how to attain it with mixing in the ancient world. Plato, for example, maintained that a pale green could be achieved by mixing flame red and black. Pope Innocent III suggests that the green was a colour to be worn on holidays as it was a middle colour between, yet again, white, red and black. This is notable because it is somewhat similar to the way the ancient Greeks perceived blue. There was a long-standing taboo against creating colour by mixing. In the medieval clothing industry, there were guild restrictions around blue-black dyers working with red and yellow dyes. In some countries, anyone caught dipping cloth in woad, a blue dye, then weld, a yellow dye, could actually face severe punishment. None of this makes much sense to us today, but it goes to show the almost magical or perhaps even demonic power attributed to colour and its use. The book is brimming full of fascinating anecdotes and stories. Each colour section has a general intro and then breaks off into information about a selection of shades of that colour. For example, in the purple section we have a general introduction about the colour purple and then sections on terrarium purple, orchil, magenta, mauve, heliotrope and violet. Many of the stories tell of the colour's place in history, how the pigment was discovered or created, how it got its name and how it has been used by artists, costumiers, alchemists, royalty and the people of the world in general. It's a gorgeous book which will be interesting not just to artists but to anyone who enjoys learning more about humanity because that's really what it's about. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you might check out Secret Lives of Colour.